I cannot explain how disappointed I am right now and how angry I am right now. Georgia just lost to Florida. What was the score? Hold on. What was it, like 44 to 28? Yeah. Yeah, it sucked, too. It was really bad. It was really bad. I, I'm, I, I cannot express how angry I am right now. I mean, Georgia's fifth in the country. Florida's eighth in the country. Now I get it. The whole shocker thing. I predicted Georgia to lose to Alabama. I was like, yeah, that's, that's a loss. I, I, I gave Alabama the win. But I predict, you know what my prediction for Georgia's record was this season? I didn't tell you. It was 9-1. and one. That's going down the drain now. It's over. We're eight. We're we're gonna go. At best, we can be eight and two. I'm serious. I swear, if this is kind of a remake of 2016, I. I don't know what to say. I cannot believe we lost to Florida. Now. I'm glad Kirby. Finally made the decision to put Dewan, he put Dewan Mathis in. I was like, okay, good. Dewan Mathis is in. It's like Stetson Bennett needs to be bench. You know what? That's it. Stetson Bennett, you need to be on the bench for the next game. You are done. Your performance has been terrible ever since the Alabama game. You have been terrible. Okay, I am not worthy of your performance. Okay, it is not good. You need to do better. I mean, seriously, this is this is unacceptable. It is just sorry. It is unacceptable. Like, really? Oh. Why did the why did Saturday have to be such a bad day for college football? Duke lost by a lot to North Carolina. Man, I was expecting it. It was it was it was expected. Florida's one of the best. Florida's not even ranked, but they're still good. So obviously they're gonna blow out Duke. Um, Georgia beat. I mean Florida beat Georgia. I mean, I mean, I'm gonna think that three year, the three years in a row of us beating Florida was just great. I mean, it was amazing. It, it was good. It was it was really good. 2017. I remember watching that game. And I was just thinking, wow. When I come back to school, uh, one of my teachers in sixth grade was a, was a big time. She actually went to the University of Georgia, so it made sense. I knew she was gonna be happy. And you know what usually happens if Georgia won, she wouldn't give us homework. It was awesome. So, like, is she, you know what she wrote on the board? Dogs win, no homework. Or no homework, dogs win. Mate, same thing. So, it was pretty cool. I'm glad that happened that season. And that season was a good season. We also beat them in 2018, and we also beat them last season as well. So... Those three years were good years. Now, this year, I, I just don't know what went on this year. I mean, I mean, what was going on out there? I don't know. I just don't know. Um, here's something that really pisses me off. Um, apparently, our quarterbacks in total, you know how many co completions we had? Nine! We had nine pass completions out of all quarterbacks. Outrageous. Unacceptable. Not cool at all. Nine completions. What did Florida have? 30? Unbelievable. That is unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. There's no excuse for that. No excuse at all. I'm out of here. Go dogs and be better next week. 
congratulations, Florida. You beat us for the first time since 2016, where we were crap that year. And hopefully you have a good rest of your season. Good luck next week, unless you don't play. Who are you playing next week? I have no idea, and I don't care. Also, I got a Celine driver. Congratulations to you. You got an unexpected win against us. So congratulations to your Florida Gators. Gator zone. Um, who else? George. Yeah. A lot of those guys. Yeah. But yeah, I'm so disappointed. I cannot believe what just happened. But hey, we'll move on. We don't care. We'll move on and we'll see how the rest of the season goes. All right. Go dogs and have a good evening.